If you ever feel like you might need someone to remind you who still believes, don't forget I'm not so far from home. All right. What's happening, folks? How's everybody doing? Welcome to my channel. My name is Luis Arduini, and this is Live for Food. And I'm the chef and owner at the Mill Tower Cafe in America's hometown, Plymouth. And I'm here with you today um, to show you how I pretty much managed to um, bring my restaurant, my menu, or my cafe, I should say. I don't have a restaurant, but. Um, we serve restaurant style food at a walk-up service cafe in a um, office building in Cordage Park here in Plymouth. Yes, we cater mostly to the office, but um, word around town has begun, has been getting quick. Um, has been, word about us has been getting around town very quickly. And over the past two years, we kind of built up a nice little rep with the locals here that literally they kind of travel just to you know they come from other office buildings just to come eat at this office building uh, to check us out so it's a real big honor and we've been doing great but right now we have to completely shift operations um, we lost because we, we are in an office building and we cater to the office clientele and right now everybody's working from home nobody's at the office at the park only the essential workers which is uh, the medical staff that's there now because we have clinics uh, multiple kinds of you know clinics between therapy dialysis to blood work urgent care all of it uh, there's different clinics there so right now the building is only filled with those essential employees and and to be quite honest, it's not really enough customers for us to cater so that we can operate the machines, operate the, the fridges, everything, bring in enough inventory to cater to everybody. Um, for us to do that, we it would just be such a great expense. So, I'm sure other restaurants are facing the same thing. You know, how do how do they get their demand back? So what we did is since since people are just you know resorting to go grocery shopping and there's like shortage of certain essentials that they wanted at the grocery store between eggs chicken milk all of this stuff like there's a shortage at grocery store but suppliers that took care of restaurants all of a sudden they, they're not meeting that demand so they're throwing their stock away and then restaurants are just sitting in the middle like not kind of like not doing anything but not by choice because we really can't because we don't have the demand either to do anything so um, so in order for us to kind of reinvent ourselves here and kind of partake and help the situation by becoming this middleman um, we decided to take our restaurant online and pretty much offer all of the ingredients from our menu as an option for people to shop online and buy from us like they would at the grocery store at the market not only that they can get it delivered like they would like peapod or other services that are other markets that are starting to do that uh, we're gonna actually start to deliver it of course for a fee a very small fee um, that honestly does not amount to the risk that you would take and not only that you're gonna get some very uh, fresh produce and products from us that are packaged well so that you can enjoy it at home and everything's gonna be done online um, so that the transaction is just everything's done you're gonna be able to keep track of everything that you bought online um, it's gonna be such a smooth operation and this is such a great solution because honestly you can set it up so that people have um, order dates and delivery dates which means if you're a small operation like me and I only get two delivery dates from my suppliers and that's Tuesday and Friday I'm setting 
my order date period if you want food delivered to you throughout the week you have to order that food from me between Saturday and Monday so I can get the food in on Tuesday package it and have it ready to deliver for you by Wednesday Thursday and then if you want food for me to be delivered to you on the weekend which we're going to be doing on Saturdays only um, you have to place your order in by Thursday so it's very simple if you want food in the middle of the week Wednesday and Thursday you place your order in by Monday if you want food delivered to you between Saturday and Sunday you place your order by Thursday because that way it enables us to just bring in exactly what we need to supply the, caf the cafe and everybody else because what we want to do is is minimize the waste factor and also the the storage factor because I cannot really keep um, the supply that we have I can't I, I'm, I, I can't keep cases of produce of everything in stock so I really need to buy exactly what I need um, and figure out what we're gonna have to do for the week and see if we can meet that supply for everyone so um, so there's that but what is what is this gonna do what is this essentially gonna do to the food chain we're going to come in and we're gonna literally mediate this entire blockage on both ends and we're going to come in and we're going to literally um, offer a solution by doing this and create the supply and demand again and generate the value and income and put money to work and put people to work and um, so essentially if every restaurant starts to do this they can really get the economy going the sector that really supplies everybody we need to keep that sector going so this is like a matter of, of life right now because if we don't keep that supply chain going we're in deep trouble so I'm offering the solution for everyone and literally yes I'm putting a link for a donation and that's because I am you know in a process where I'm about to give up my cafe but this is my last push this is my last you know um, push for it in a sense to really get back in business and go back to having the sales that we we're having because we really need that to survive for the business to survive so yes I'm taking donations at a time that's really tough that other people are hurting but honestly if, if you're a business and you're a cafe owner or a restaurant and you're taking value from this and you're gaining some sort of inspiration and maybe you know how to do it much better but however way this video impacts you and you feel like contributing to our cause to our cafe so that we can continue to create content like this seriously your three dollar donation I think it's a minimum if you want to send like a dollar via Venmo I think it's a dollar twenty-five I believe so two twenty-five between two twenty-five to three dollars you can contribute to such a great cause um, I'm just trying to get the shop going I'm just trying to create an idea for people that can really benefit from this in scale and um, I hope that it works for my coffee shop it might not work for my cafe but this might work for somebody else and if somebody has the resources to really implement this in the best way possible in their way and they take something from this then all of it is worth it then it's impacting another community and that's all I want to get from it seriously um, I would love for this to work in my community but I you know it's it's tough everything risk is risky right now no matter what business idea you have you're gonna face a high risk factor um, it's crazy so 
no matter what anybody tries to do right now is risky unless you're really meeting a, a, a demand that's emergent and you know that's a matter of emergency but what I'm trying to say is um, this is my last push and though I have doubts I'm positive that in theory something like this works and I'm highly optimistic that my community my following will give it their shot but in the end we're gonna have to face reality that you know the situation is chaotic for everyone so thank you folks I really hope you get something out of this video I'm about to really break it down for you how you can set up your shop online and pretty much make it very easy for people to um, follow you and buy from you so pre sell spreadsheet um, pretty much showcasing um, listing all of the items that I carry on my menu that I would like to sell as retail for my customers and when I say items I mean by ingredients so I'm, I took down every single ingredient that I have on my menu and pretty much made it available for folks online to shop so I created my spreadsheet here and deduced the price the retail price that I want to charge them and of course I reference local markets so that I wouldn't charge uh, less or more uh, because you don't want to disrupt the local economy you want to give people a good deal and you are already giving them a great service by catering to them and having your your ingredients your your restaurant on the line for them to provide them with with ingredients so you're already doing a great service um, you don't want to go too less or you don't want to charge people way more than you should and you don't you don't want to charge too less because you don't want to disrupt that cycle that that demand because essentially what we're doing here by coming in as restaurant owners and being middlemen for this tough situation is literally trying to bring back the economy and keep the the, the food service the food industry going because that is literally the lifeline of everybody you know in the world so this is literally coming down to every little local shop restaurant owner that is shut down right now now you actually have an opportunity if you have the resources to set something up that you can cater to your community and do a great thing and offer a great service and possibly keep your bills paid keep people employed you know what I mean like there's so many great things so going back to the whole series here you're just gonna create your spreadsheet of all listen all the items that you want to upload to your menu and then I have here my square dashboard I'm literally just going to sign in um, Takes a little while here to load. Alright. So now that I'm on, I'm just gonna go right ahead to my online store. So Square offers this. If you have Square for your business, it's gonna give you all these great qualities. And Square uses the website called Weebly, and it's a great way to connect your POS system with an online service. Um, So it's very, very easy to edit a website on Weebly. There's so many tutorials online, but here I'm essentially just going to show you the process that I took to um, to pretty much, you know, add a full catalog for my customers online. So I already went ahead and started creating my website. It has a lot of different integrations here. 
but I wanted to show you that you can the the sight is overwhelming but if you just stick to the very basic things you can get a, a website up and operating so you're going to design your website And here I have my home page that I still need to get set up, but I've been so busy trying to get my uh, cattle.
So, you want to create your items. I'm doing one pack, I mean one pack of three heads. Item price is going to be 363 and you're going to hit save. And then it's going to give you the option to literally click and drag to where you want to add. If you want to add it to one of the categories so that it links properly. So literally this is what you do slowly. It takes a while for the website to load. And then as you're doing one individual item, um, just take into account that this is just literally making everything easier for you and the customer to order and for you to receive the order. It is very tedious, it's a very painstaking process and this is why people get paid big bucks for it but you can do it yourself. This is the entire model of this video is just to show you that you can do it yourself, develop a little routine you know, either do it in the morning, do each section in the morning, do two sections in, at night, whatever it is that you want to do. Um, but to me, this is very tedious work. For some people, it's, they do it all the time. But for somebody that's so used to working with their hands all day, working with ingredients, um, it's literally... Uh, it can be a painstaking process to, to stay focused on. But it's doable. Um, it's definitely doable and, and it's not super computer tech because the, the technology and, the, and the, the program is being done for you. You just have to kind of give it the information that it needs to, to work for you. And this is literally what you're doing. You're slowly inputting this information about your business into the stream of the internet that is literally going to compute, do things, and send a message out there. And it's going to hopefully generate some revenue and some business for you. Um, it's the magic. It's the power of technology. But this takes works from you. It's not just technology. You have to kind of direct it. So I'm showing you how to do it. And it's fun. It's possible. And you know, you just gotta, gotta do it. One item at a time. You just work your way down the list. Um, but you have to prepare this. This took this list for me alone took hours to do because I never really had all the prices in front of me as well as I should. Um, I price things as a chef just pretty much based on um, the initial pound value that I get for proteins and, and everything else. It's, it's, it's a very different way, but when you start to price everything by the item, um, it can be pretty crazy when you, when you start to see how much of a process it can be. There are chefs out there that have every single ingredient down to the tea, even down to the spices. Some spices can be very expensive, so of course you include that, but um, mainly I, I base my pricing mostly on the most expensive tickets which is the protein and some of the produce which is romaine um, but everything else kind of pays for itself it's more the high ticket prices you don't want to waste money on but anyways that's enough babble essentially this is what you want to do is just keep creating one item at a time work your way down your list right and I'm gonna hit save and since I have some 
so many things here to to overlook. I just want to publish the website really quick before I went ahead and publish it. So, literally, I'm just going to go ahead and finish it. I'm actually... home section Start a picture here really quick from us.
Once you get, you can see how easy it is to pretty much get everything going. You can connect your Instagram account. Let's see if we can at least connect that and set up Instagram. Alright folks, so I want to show you how easy it's going to be to order online from us. I'm just going to go to your Safari page. I'm going to type in Mill Tower Cafe.com. See, it's milltowercafe.com. Hit that. And it's going to bring you to the page. And you can scroll down and see what we're up to on Instagram. And then you can order from us. I hit an order now. It's going to ask you to do pickup or delivery. And then go down and see your menu. And then you're going to start scrolling down and you can start ordering. The items are broken down on the breakfast. And then if you keep scrolling down, it's going to come up with more options over here. And you can literally scroll, scroll through them. And as you go all the way to the right, you can start to see the market options for fruits, veggies, fresh greens. And what it literally does, it just brings you down, all the way down to where the section starts. But you could actually go up and down this, and the sections change as you go up and you start to see our regular menu. So pretty much it goes from the menu items that we have down to all the way at the bottom to the groceries that we offer. So and you literally just pick whatever you want if you want some arugula add that to your cart 
just has one item added to the cart. And then if you want to get some, just a breakfast sandwich along with your arugula, which is a great example because people do that all the time, <laughs> you can uh, just type in, you know, build your own bacon, egg, and cheese, or a jump start, which is our famous one. And you can add that to the cart. And then as soon as you're all set, you just hit view cart. And you can literally check out and pay with Apple Pay everything through here. And then continue shopping, whatever you want to do. So you'll be able to do everything with us from here. Um, just follow the guidelines to order groceries. You do have to order in advance and there's only two days of the week 